Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. New Rises Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are rejoicing along with me, and you are glad in it. I'm so excited about today. I get another opportunity to pray to our Lord and our God on your behalf, and I thank God for you joining us in this time of prayer. All month long, we're praying about the helping hand of God. God does involve himself in your situation to help you and to provide for you and to protect you. And he does it by his strong right hand. He does it by his outstretched arm, if you will. And he has so many passages of scripture in the word of God that tell us and remind us that God's helping hand is there for helping us. And here today in day number five, we're going to be reading from Isaiah chapter Number 64 and verse 8, Isaiah chapter 64 and verse 8. And here's what the word of God says. But now, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are our potter. And we and all we are the work of your hand. Amen. Let me read that again. But now, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you our potter. And all we are the work of your hand. Amen. As we think about our prayer time with the Lord today, we want to pray and just thank God that he is, in fact, our heavenly father. And then secondly, we want to pray and thank God and ask him that he would mold us and continues continuously shape us into his image. Come on, let's go before the Lord in prayer today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just love you and honor you today. We lift you up, O God, and we praise and magnify your holy name. Lord, from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. God, we exalt you. We extol you. We, we say hallelujah to your name. We just admit, God, and agree that you are God and you are almighty God and you are worthy of our praise. God, we also come to confess our sins. We We've missed the mark that you've set. We've crossed the line. We've transgressed. God, we, we've made mistakes. And, and for those, God, we've sinned against you and we're godly sorry. So we pray that you would cover us in the blood of Jesus and forgive us of our sin. We receive that forgiveness even right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you would also fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we might be able to do your will here in the earth realm. And Lord God, as we try to do what you've called upon us to do and to live as you've called us to live, we thank God for your outstretched hand. We thank you, O oh God, that you are, first of all, our father. In Isaiah 64 and 8, we confess and agree with the writer that you are our father. You are our heavenly father. And we thank you that we are your children. We thank you that you care enough about us as our creator, that you have compassion on us as our father. And not only that, but God, you are our uh, molder. You are the potter and we are the clay. We are the work of your hands. So Lord God, this is our prayer today that you will continue to mold us into your image, that you will continue to make us into your likeness, that each and every day that passes God, we would begin to look more and more like you. Lord, as children grow, they look more and more like the parents that gave birth to them. So, Lord God, it is our desire that we look more and more like you, our Heavenly Father. Lord, use the trials and the, the, tr the tribulations and the tough situations that we go through to make us and to mold us into your image. God, use the, the mountains that we have to climb and the hills that we have to get over and the obstacles that we have to get around to shape our character and to mold us into the image that you have us to be. God, we thank you for all of the ups and downs of life, the ins and outs, the, the good times and the bad, as we know that they are used to, to shape us into the image and into the people and into the men and women of God that you have called upon us to be. So shape our thought life that we think more like Jesus. Lord, shape our mindset that we, we imagine what you want us to imagine and we think the way you want us to, to think. Lord, shape our vision, Lord, that, that we might see life the way you want us to see it. Lord, help us to use our words to create the future that you would have for us, Lord. Help us to use our words to bless others, even as you use your word to bless us. 
God, help us to use our hands and the resources that we have at our disposal to be a blessing to so many other people as you have used your hands and your resources to be a blessing to us. God, we want to look more and more like you because you are our Heavenly Father. We are your creation. We are your children. So, Lord, make us and mold us into your image. Keep your hands on us, Lord. Continue to shape us and to make us into what you would have us to be, that we might be able to glorify you and give you all the praise, all the glory, and all of the honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, today was day number five, and we prayed from Isaiah the prophet, chapter 64 and verse 8, from the New King James Version of the Word of God. But now, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you our potter. And all we are the work of your hand. Amen. Amen. I'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. Love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.